हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा तो कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम थैंक यू माता जी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू पलवित प्लीज गो है हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू माधे जी हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू पालवे ओके हमसी गो हेड हरे कृष्ण माधे जी दिस इज हमसी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू माता जी हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू हमसी ऋतु गो है क्विकली ओके Okay, Prithu does not unmute when I call him. Okay, can I? Can I, I do? Okay, now you go ahead and do, Brinda. You do it. No, Brinda, go on me. You do first. You do. Okay, Brinda, you do first. 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 Okay, Brinda, you Okay, Gaurangi, please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. I think everybody who ever joined early got the chance to sing Hare Krishna. Now Lakshmi Mataji is there. She will be taking over. Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Palvit. Okay, Hare Krishna Palvit. I think you got chance to sing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Mataji. Very good, Palvit. Very good. So Mataji, Govinda classes. Um, we'll have a time, Mataji, in between. Um, like around thirty. Thirty minutes, you will get the gap, Mata Ji. Thirty to forty minutes. Oh, Mata Ji is not yet connected to audio. Announce. Yeah, she Thank will be. So Brinda, please go ahead and sing Hare Krishna, Brinda. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. This is Brinda. Did you sing Hare Krishna, Brinda? Yes, she. I could not hear you, Brinda. Can you hear me right now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Hare Krishna, Prithu. Uh, please go ahead and sing Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Very good. Now Mata Ji is ready. Mata Ji will take over from here. Please, Mata Ji, take over. Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mata Ji. This is Levan and Sia.
Lakshmi Mataji, we can't hear you, Mataji. You are on mute. Okay, Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Levan and Sia. Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Gavaki. Hare Krishna kids. Mataji is taking one minute. Is there anybody who joined later and did not get chance? Yeah. Okay, Mataji is there. Hare Krishna Mataji, it's because she didn't get a chance to sing Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Everybody will get a chance to sing Hare Krishna, okay? But let's just go ahead with our today's schedule, right? Um, because we have less time and too much to cover. So Hare Krishna kids, welcome to today's Damodar class. Let's get started with our today's class. Um, Om Ganyatamarandasya. Yeah, you know the drill. Let's start with Sri Guru Pranam Mantra. It's on your screen. Om Ganyatamarandasya. Ganyatamarandasya. Shalakaya. Chakshurmanandam. Yena. Sri Guru Vinayana. Sri Guru Vinayana. Hare Krishna, 
Time to read a story. And you know which story we are reading these days, right? Rama's desire to the forest for 14 years. That is right. That is what we are reading. They're actually being fun, and, and that's what we are reading right now. Rama's going on the forest for 14 years. That is right, actually. That is what we are reading. So we're going to start where we left off yesterday, right? So let's start with today's story. All right. So um, where we left off yesterday, Lord Rama is leaving um, with, um, with Sita and Lakshman on the chariot. And they have a charioteer with them, right? Uh, to, take them to, a, a, to take them to the outskirts of um, Ayodhya and leave them there. And from there, um, they can just continue with their journey and be in exile for next 14 years, right? So that was the plan. Um, so they are on the chariot and they actually covered a long, long distance. So the kingdom was pretty huge and they keep, you know, they just keep moving um, until they went, they reached the outskirts. So while they were traveling, they were, um, they passed many, uh, many places on the way. And uh, Lord Ram was also remembering at the same time all his relations and people. Um, he was a little, you know, nostalgic at that moment because um, uh, he was leaving all his people behind for almost 14 years, or not for almost 14 years actually. And he was also at the same time, he wanted to make sure that um, um, the oath that he has taken or vow he has taken that he will be in exile for 14 years. And he's very, very stern about that, right? Um, so he he was thinking of um, what King Dashrath uh, Dashrath's command was, who is his father. So what his command is, so that he is determined and very very strong about the decision of staying in the forest for fourteen years. Um, and he kept um, uh, pushing Sumatra to Sumatra Sumantra Sumantra, who is actually the charioteer uh, for him uh, to keep driving and not stop and not pause and don't go slow you know all that kind of stuff he just he's very very uh, focused on the goal he has in, um, in his mind they were passing many many villages people uh, of the everybody knew about uh, um, Lord, uh, Lord Rama's exile so um, when they were passing through many villages uh, people were actually coming out to see him because they were just not happy with this decision as we had been reading in last few weeks, right? Nobody's happy, happy with this decision. So they all are coming out and they are looking at Lord Ram and they are they're just not happy. Um, they're looking at Ram and they, they are, they're kind of, you know, uh, accusing uh, Kakei and King Dashrat about the act that they have done, right? How could Dashrat take this kind of a decision? For, uh, for a person like Lord Ram, right? He's, he's very virtuous kind of person. How can they take a decision like that for him? At the same time, they were actually um, commending um, Kekai as well, that uh, what kind of person she is. She's very wicked. How can she do this and all that kind of stuff? So they are all talking about, about Lord Ram, but at the same time, they are very, very compassionate about um, Sita as well because everybody knew that she's from the royal family, just like anybody else here. Um, and how, how can she, um, you know, how can she live in, in a forest, uh, quitting everything, quitting all the luxuries? So they all are talking like that. They're looking at it and they are passing comments about Kekri and Dashrath, while Lord Ram um, can still listen to them. So he's listening to them, he's hearing them and he's 
he knows what he's doing and why he's doing that. So he just, uh, you know, smiling, but they kept moving. Um, so finally they reached uh, to um, um, Koshal's southern border and then uh, Lord Ram got down from the chariot. Um, he stood facing Ayodhya uh, because even though, right, we just keep talking about that all the time, even though he had to go in exile, but he is going there with a very, very heavy heart because um, he loved people in his kingdom. He loved everything about his kingdom. He's very, very um, attached to everybody there. So, of course, it's a duty that he's doing, but at the same time, he um, is slightly sad in his heart. So he looked at, um, I looked in the direction of Ayodhya, um, and then uh, he was almost choked while he is speaking, and he's just kind of taking permission from Ayodhya um, about uh, you know moving out of Ayodhya and staying away from Ayodhya for all for forty years. And uh, he's saying at the same time that. Once I, uh, Ayodhya is protected by the emperor and also the deities, but I would also return one day once I am uh, able to fulfill the pledge that my uh, father has taken. So I will definitely return after that. Until then, you know, kingdom, he's saying kingdom, uh, about his kingdom, that Ayodhya is well protected with the emperor and also the deities we have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of people, as we are talking about, a lot of people are coming to um, say, um, bit, basically bid farewell to um, um, Lord Ram as well. And now Lord Ram actually looked at everybody. Um, he's very, very compassionate. He's very, very close to all the, um, uh, all the people from the kingdom. So he's looking at them with a lot of affection. He's thanking them for being there and showering their love for him and everybody. Um, and then the, he's asking them to go home, but they are uh, so uh, well connected with Lord Ram and they are um, so full of uh, compassion and emotions for Lord Ram that they just don't want to go. They do not want to go. They just kept looking at him until, you know, um, until he, he he's just gone from their uh, eyesight or gone from there um, uh, until he was not visible anymore, right? He's gone from there. So they just kept looking at um, at him. Finally, they reached um, at the um, at one of the shore of River Ganges. Um, in they say it is it is in Ushinara province. Um, it is a kind of kind of secluded place, a calm place, and they thought that the lot of um, rishi, uh, surrounded by a lot of rishis. So they thought this is a good yeah. place. Take, um, take a haul. Um, the river, what was this? This is so beautiful. It, it, it's the river. It's blue now. Um, it's blue. Uh, it's blue. Uh, 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 raccoon. Uh, 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 rain. All right. How how the water is flowing in the river? How the water is splashing um, on the on the rocks or against the rocks, and um, how deep the water is, and and all that kind of stuff. So just explaining how it is. Um, and the place was covered with white lotuses as well. There were thousands of swans there, cranes, um, hovered on the on on the water. So it's a, such a beautiful and calm place for anybody to stay there and um, and have a nice, secluded, peaceful uh, life. Okay, yeah, so as I was mentioning, um, yeah, seeing that um, celestial region, uh, Lord Ram decided to stop there for the night. He took shelter under the branches of a, of a large tree and sat down and he offered worship to, um, to the Ganges. Um, Sumatra unyoked the horses uh, so that they can drink water, they can eat something, um, eat the grass basically. And, um, and Lord Ram was, and others were trying to relax there. The king of the territory uh, was Guha and Guha was actually a very close friend of Lord Ram. So the moment he, he knew that Lord Ram 
uh, is going into exile. So he was aware of that. And when he heard that Lord Ram is um, in his region, he was very, very excited. So he imme immediately he rushed uh, to the place where Lord Ram uh, was, um, you know, kind of taking rest. And then he reached there um, and he waited actually for Lord Ram uh, to call upon him so that he can go and speak to him. And he was very excited. They had met in Ayodhya many times in the past. So they, um, they were well connected uh, and very fond of each other. And um, once Lord Ram saw him and he asked him to come forward, he, he couldn't, um, he couldn't um, stop expressing his excitement, uh, what he was going through. So he said, I'm very, very honored by your presence in my, in my kingdom. Um, this this land uh, this land is um, is yours as much as it is mine, right? So just just feel at home. I'm your servant, and uh, I shall do anything um, to make your stay comfortable here. Again, he was just like anybody else. He wasn't very happy that Lord Ram is going into exile, even though he was so excited. So see, he is going through the mixed emotions, right? He's very happy, but he's sad as well that Lord Ram isn't is um, going to the forest for fourteen years. Uh, he did offer he did offer a lot of good uh, good variety of food and drink and everything um, for Lord Ram and he he made bed for them so that they can take rest because they had a long journey. Uh, but Lord Ram uh, very politely thanked him and he said that um, he's very very honored uh, by all this um, that he is uh, offering him. But he has um, he has accept, accepted a lie. Um, a very um, aesthetic kind of life in the forest. So he just cannot accept all these luxuries. He just wants to live the way anybody else would live in a forest and um, uh, and make their ends meet, right? Um, uh, get their own food, grow their own food or, or roots or whatever. And they, they would do that for themselves. So he did not want all that kind of stuff, but he said that but if you really want to do something, you can definitely offer all a good uh, good dinner to my horses, and um, because my horses are very very dear to my father, so it, it it would be as good as serving me. So if you can serve them, well, Guha wasn't happy about this. Uh, he was reluctant to do that, but he just cannot bypass Lord Rama's uh, wishes. So as Lord Ram said, he definitely fulfilled that wish. And then he watched um, yeah, Lord Ram only accepted water from him. Um, and then he lay down to sleep on the bed of leaves. Uh, he, again, he did not want any luxurious bed or anything. He just wanted to live the way everybody does. Uh, let's Mataji, I can't hear you. Me too, Mataji. Me. Come to my you. I can also hear your voice, Mataji. Mataji, we can't hear you, Mataji. Mataji, we cannot hear, hear you. And we cannot hear your screen. Connection, I think she left. And Mataji, and we can't see our video. Yes. We can't see, see, see you. you. I think she left. Maybe. Krishna Mataji. Mataji, come. Uh, kids, uh, Mataji left. Uh, maybe something oh, happened to you, her. Mataji, uh, yeah. Mataji is there. Something happened to her. Uh, this one. She will join. Harry Ball. Yeah, she left. Yeah, Mataji. No worries, Mataji. She'll come back. Can you hear me now, Mataji? Yeah, yes, yes, Mataji. We can hear you now. Oh, I don't know what happened. Like, uh, did you got the co-host? Okay. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I was constantly speaking. <laughs> yeah, Mataji. Oh, so you were something happened. Maybe your internet. Internet. I think my internet. Yeah, yeah. I lost the connection on the other laptop too. So I, I'm sure it's the internet. All right, we will continue. So. Um, if I if if nobody heard me, I was just talking about how Lakshman is doing. I'm just gonna put everybody on mute. 
All right. Um, so I was just explaining how Lakshman is feeling about all this. Um, he did not want to enjoy. He didn't want to relax. He didn't want to do anything until he makes uh, Lord Ram's life a little more comfortable in the forest. All right, moving on. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Guha actually arranged a large, large uh, boat for Lord Ram so that they can continue their journey because the, now they're in the outskirts of their kingdom and they have to start um, start uh, doing their remaining journey on foot. So, so Guha was trying to arrange um, a boat for them so that they can take the boat and at least cross the river because they are at the, at the Ganges right now. Um, And meanwhile, Lord Ram is talking to Sumantra, Sumantra now. He's telling Sumantra that, um, okay, you have served, served me very, very well. Now it's time for you to go back to Ayodhya. There are a few things that you should be taking care of. And Sumantra wasn't ready to go. He said, I just want to make sure that um, you are okay in the forest. I would, I would want to serve you to the time you're there in the forest for, for next 14 years. I don't want to go back. I just want to serve you. But um, Lord Ram... Uh, he just didn't want him to be there. And um, there are many reasons why Lord Ram didn't want him to be there. One of the reasons was that he doesn't want anybody else's life to be uncomfortable because of him. And second thing is he just wanted to, he just wanted uh, Sumatra, Sumantra, I keep saying Sumatra, Sumantra to go back to the kingdom uh, because he was thinking that Kaki would be very, very anxious whether I, I, I crossed um, um, our kingdom or not. So she would be very anxious and until he would see Sumantra back. Matiji, we could not hear you again. You're, you're not leaving. You, Matiji, I can't hear you again. Hi, guys. I can't see you presenting. Yeah, Fushita. You're right. Hare Krishna, everybody. Um, Mataji has a problem with her internet. Yes, yes. Mataji has a problem with the internet. Oh, yeah. It back. looks oh, like wow. maybe she left. She not here anymore. She That's here. okay. Mataji will come back. We are all here. She's, she's over. Ryan, she's in the group. She's in the people. It's people 21. She's over there. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, there he is. You can hear Mataji, me. we can see the scream. You cannot? We I can see, but we don't see you. You're on me. You don't. You're on me, your camera. Oh, you can see my. Oh, okay, okay. You're so fond of me. Yeah, scream. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you cannot you cannot see my screen. Okay, my camera would come back very soon, but meanwhile, um I I will try sharing the presentation again so that you can see that. Okay. Can you see oh, it now? Yeah, we can see now. Yeah. We were able to see, but we but we were not able to see it now. Ishik. Oh, you can see me. Sorry about that. Uh, my internet can access see just... you. my daddy, we can't see you. Yeah, you will see me soon, kids. Let's just finish the story quickly, okay? You will see you again. <laughs> All right, okay. You can see me now, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's move on, okay? Um, all right, so I was talking about Sumantra. I do not know how much you heard, but Lord Ram had a lot of reasons that he wanted Sumantra to go back. And I'll briefly talk about that, right? Um, so he wanted Sumantra to go back to, um, to the kingdom so that uh, Sumantra can um, can show everybody that he's coming alone and he has left uh, Lord Ram in exile. Uh, he's not come back with him. Second thing, he wanted to make sure that um, he um, that Bharat takes the rightful um, position on the throne so that he takes care of uh, the people uh, of Ayodhya. So he wanted Sumantra to take this message back to Ayodhya and let his father know that this is what they should do as soon as possible. Okay, let's move on. All right, so finally, uh, Lord Ram gave his permission uh, to Sumantra to leave. 
to leave. He wasn't um, he wasn't uh, willing to go, but he he actually had to. So he took his permission, and then um, he left. All right, yeah, so this this actually slide talks about everything that I just mentioned, why he wanted Sumantra to go back to uh, Ayodhya. We have already talked about this, so I am not going to repeat that. All right, kids, this is where we end today's story. And I think you are already ready to talk about um, about your share your um, share your thoughts on what we read today. So I'm going to start with Levon. Um, I, um, I have a question. Uh, why was Lakshman, um, happy and sad? For, what, for Lakshman or Guha? Guha. Yeah. So Guha was both happy and sad. Guha was happy because he was able to meet Lord Ram, right? So he was excited that he's meeting Lord Ram, right? And he was unhappy or he was sad because he just did not like that Lord Ram has to be in the forest or in exile for 14 years. So that is what he was unhappy about. Okay, thank you, Mataji. You're welcome. Uh, Raghav, do you want to share your thoughts? No. All right, we'll move on. Raghav, if you want to share later, you can raise your hands. Um, Ryan, how about you? Mataji? Yeah. My dad got a new pen here. <laughs> Very nice, Ryan. Okay, you want to talk about the story? Today's story, I'm watching your pen, but do you want to talk about the story as well? Um, why is his is Ram and Sita and and, and Lachman leaving the kingdom. Why did they leave the kingdom? Because Mantra told his Kaike to, to order his, his to order Ram's father to go to the forest. Exactly. You know that. Thank you for sharing that, Ryan. All right, Gorangi, how about you? Gaurang, you want to share something? Yes, Mataji. We should not go by your Allah. We should, if we have permission to go alone, we Lord Ram didn't ask his father to go to the forest. He had permission, but that's where he got in trouble. So, and one last question, and... If you go alone, you will be lost. Mm, that is right. Thank you for sharing that, Gaurangi. All right, Tushita, do you want to share something? Grandma uh, was born in the forest. Then? Whom did he meet? What? Whom did he meet? I don't know. Don't you Guha? He met Guha, right? He met Guha. Just right. And then. Thank you, my friend. Can you make this map? What? Okay. Anything else do you want to share? No, that's all right. Thank you for sharing that, Tushita. Raghav, how about you? I got a new money. You got what?
Okay. You want to talk about today's story, Raga? How? Why did Rama go to the forest? Yeah, you tell me. Why did he go to forest? Because Kaikes uh, uh, birds did that. Yeah, that is right. Because Kekai said that, right? Kekai asked for the bull. That is why. All right. Thank you. Uh, Janvi? Mataji? Yeah, okay. Yeah, John. Um, I have a question for you. Sure. Um, who's your favorite character in Ramayan? Who's my favorite character where? In Ramayan. Oh my God. You have asked me the toughest question. That's not right, Janvi. I asked you questions and you are asking me questions. That was such a tough one. Oops, it's tough to answer. Uh, I, I just can't say one person because that is what. So let me wrap up by saying what I wanted to talk about, right? So um, just by reading today's text also, every single time when we read um, any text from Ramayan, I just keep getting more and more impressed by every single one from uh, from Ramayan, right? Do you see how um, how closely knitted they are, how uh, emotion-wise, uh, responsibility-wise, and everything-wise, right? Even if you talk about the charioter, right? Uh, Sumantra is just a charioter, but how impressive personality he has. Talk about Guha, right? What kind of impressive personality he has too. Everybody's performing their duties so well. Um, they know what they should be doing. They know what they shouldn't be doing and all that kind of stuff. So trust me, if you ask me who's my favorite, this is the toughest question. I like them all. <laughs> Anything else you want to share, Janvi? Um, no, I just wanted to ask you the question. All right. Let's see if I can talk about just one person. I'll let you know that day. <laughs> all right, kids, with that... We have wrapped up today's story. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Deepak. Hare Krishna, Deepak. Can I go? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So, um, you should, so you should be affectionate and always kind. That is very true. That is very, very true. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna, for sharing Mataji. that. Can I go? Yeah, Kaushik, go ahead. Rama should be listening to his parents and he did. And that's good. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful point. Very nice. Lovely. Mataji, Mataji can show up there and hear it already. Oh, Mataji. Okay. Yeah, Mataji. Okay. Mataji. So, uh, so, Mataji, I, I learned the story that the uh, one, one he, uh, Rama uh, you should always be kind and be respectful uh, towards uh, towards elders, and mm -hmm. yeah, and and also you should you should respect them as as they're they're your teacher or your um dis disciples or, or adults. Yeah, adults. Or so, guru. So, or guru members. That's very nice. Thanks for so, so um. So, uh, we should be like, we should be, we should be attached to Krishna, not to anything else. Like, we should, we should always serve the Lord by, by, by heart loving, and, by heart and love and devotion. Awesome. Thanks always. For that That's a very good point. Love Krishna, serve Krishna, right? That's what you want to do. All right. Thank you, kids. Wonderful. Good job. Gosh, Anjana Gopika Mataji is not going to spare me every single time I take up time from her. Um... No, Mataji, that's fine. We no, to... <laughs> Mataji, over to you, Hare Krishna. Hare Bull. I'll not open my video today. I'll... I'm seeing all of you, okay? I saw you. Very, 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 very nice kids. Very nice.
Puri all repeat up from me, okay? Okay. Pumsa. Vijayate. <laughs> Sangaste Supazayate Sangaste Supazayate Sangaste Supazayate Sangaste Supazayate Sangaste Supazayate and then you all can do your stand. Okay, Tayato Bisayan Pumsa. Sangaste Supazayate. Sangaste Okay, you all do that. Do you know the sloka, Mataji? I think she put her now. Okay, if you want to me to put till the time Mataji comes. Mataji, can you make me her co-host? I'll put her. Mataji, we can go to the breakout, Mataji. Yes, yes. Can you? Mm, yes. Yeah, can you? I will. I will make out the. I'll make the breakout room. All kids can go in the breakout and they practice. Uh, they Lakshma can come. Yes, in the breakout. Yes, Mataji, room. she can come. As soon as she comes, I'll put her in the breakout. Okay, okay. Uh, can you give me a co-host? Yeah, I gave you, Mataji. Did I, did I give you post? Okay, okay. Okay, kids. <laughs> I show you the sloka. Okay, go ahead. You can say the sloka. Everyone together. <laughs> Mataji, I will open the breakout, Mataji. You can go there only. Is that okay? Uh, Lakshmi Mataji is already there, I think. Yeah. Di Bhagavan Vacha, Di Bhagavan Vacha, 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 one more time. <laughs> 
Mathiji will take over and teach uh, Devanagari. You all learn from Mathiji, okay? Mathiji, I will open the breakout. Mathiji, please uh, kindly click on breakout rooms and we can go to breakout because it's a the Govinda class time. Hope everybody got the notification of breakout. Join. Special click on join. Just say join. Pishita, good girl. 